my guess is that they're going to secure the deals. They're going to um, get the new TV uh, spots. You know, I, I'm, I'm, they're going to be sticking with Spike. But believe me, Bischoff is going to be looking for other uh, cable networks who um, would probably get a, a better deal right. um, to go ahead and, and shoot on on Monday night. And once they do that, that's when you'll see everything start to happen. But until then, Vince, man, he's not going to have no choice but to start going back to the, uh, I mean, get rid of this whole PG thing and start going back to Raw's War. What is it that you brought up? Get the F back into wrestling. I've been putting it in front of our videos, our opening videos, weeks and weeks. Yep. And now it looks like they're not going to have a cha- a choice. They're going to have yep. to put the F back in wrestling. It's over for T- for D- for WWE with this PG crap. And I'm not I'm not And I need to see Hornswoggle in the unemployment line. I'm not talking about actually changing the logo, okay? I mean, come no, on. No, I, mean, I don't, don't I change don't... the logo. They need to change the way they run that show. These guest hosts got to go. I know that, but I mean, you know, we're going to get a bunch of marks saying that, oh, they're not going to change the logo. No, I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about get the F back into wrestling, meaning, you know, the F is short for the word that I really want to say. Follow the deed of the mid card. The fizz uh, back into wrestling. How about that? But uh, it, yeah, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have a, a Monday Night War all over again, and I'm excited because now you're going to... SmackDown gonna ha- has to go back to their old routine. They're falling apart, too. I don't want to even get started on SmackDown. I mean, I'm a little WWE dis- has a lot right now. I think that right now, if you look at it, with Hogan coming onto TNA and Bischoff coming onto the TNA, and with WWE right now figuring out some of their characters, moving them to Raw and dropping things like Kofi Kingston and SmackDown falling apart... I think right now the playing board is almost even. Right now it's a time to see who's going to shape up faster and get the people. What do you mean even? Well, because WWE right now is not is not the Raw sucks. All right, people can watch these hosts and they can say, "Oh, they like it," but they really, I mean, don't lie, don't lie to yourself, man. I guarantee you, the the host thing is going to be gone. What, it's not what you jumped into wrestling for. You didn't jump into wrestling to see um, some NASCAR drivers walk down the stage. You came to see wrestlers, to entertain. And, I mean, SmackDown was a really good show until a couple weeks ago. They're starting to fall apart. Now, who do you think TN- the, who do you think right the now, cancer is uh, in SmackDown? What do you think? What? Who do you think the cancer is in SmackDown? I mean, we said that Hornswoggle is the cancer. Well, I, I'm agreeing with you now. You've been saying Vince McMahon on SmackDown is the cancer. <laughs> and, I, and I believe it's true. Vince McMahon has too much time on that show. And it's just it's – just, I don't know, man. I think Teddy Long is a strong enough character to carry SmackDown. Where he doesn't need um, um, Vince McMahon running down his back. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, I don't. I'm not even sure why. I mean, I it, like it was the working. Fact that they didn't have so much backstage camera work, you know. And now it's just like Vince McMahon, Teddy Long, Vince McMahon, Teddy Long, all this stuff. I mean, well, you know, I know they're working a storyline. I know they're working a gimmick, but you I, know, but there's no need for it. Actually, I mean, Vince, Vince should stay on Raw, okay, right. where he belongs, and leave SmackDown as a wrestling show. Right. And let Teddy Long come out, interrupt matches, restart matches, throw in a couple of rules, and it works out great. Let Ziggler and Maria do their thing in the back, whatever. All those people, they, they were doing it fine a couple of weeks. And the whole reason, and and the whole reason why, the whole reason why Vince is on SmackDown is because they're trying to boost the ratings up because it's in the, it's in the mid twos. High twos, right. maybe, right? right? But you know how you fix that? You you said it a couple weeks ago. It's because SmackDown's on a Friday. Who is at home on a Friday night? I know. I haven't been home in a Friday for a while. I, I always catch the, the SmackDown when it starts, and I can never finish it because I'm taking off. SmackDown is going to be, I, I, I almost can guarantee it. That SmackDown is going to be moved back to Thursdays to compete with, to. to compete with Impact, okay? And um, because I mean, people are going to be tuning in on Thursdays on TNA, right? Just to see if when Hogan is going to take over. Yeah, I mean that's right there. You just that was a smart thing you just said right now. Move SmackDown back to Thursday. Compete with TNA. They have show to. show TNA if you want to come play with the big boys. You need to see if you can keep up ratings with us. Yeah, and they, they're going to have to make it at the same time 
as as Impact. They they have to. They they have to compete. I mean, why and, do you, why do you think that TNA is winning in ratings in the UK? We had uh, you know whatever his name is on uh, not too long ago as a special guest host on our yeah. show, and he said basically because it's the, on the time slot, they come on earlier. And again, who is at home watching wrestling on a Friday night? Nobody. Nobody. I mean, I catch the first maybe half an hour of it, and then I'm out that door. Yeah. The WWE is in trouble. They are right in now, trouble. Right now, that's what I'm saying. The playing the board right now is even. WWE's got a lot of mistakes that they put themselves into. TNA's got a lot of mistakes they're trying to get out of. This is the perfect time to start making big moves, big changes, and start doing things. I think TNA right now with Hogan and Bischoff is going to be good, but they're going to have to start pushing their original talent again and start dropping some of these, these former WWE talent, start getting them in the back. Moving them away because it's not going to work, and they got to do whatever it takes to keep staying in Kurt Angle there. Now, let me let me. We were just talking about it before we started the show. The WWE.com has the alumni section where they show pictures of past wrestlers and um, uh, commentators and managers. Right. And I'm looking at this list here, and some of them, some of them I agree with, some of them I really don't agree with, and I disagree with. The whole thing, if that makes sense, on there's a lot of wrestlers here that are missing. I mean, that, yeah. That should be I in mean, here. Their website's as jacked up as Raw. Like, what's going on? I mean, I'm looking at it right now. I mean, they have Billy Kidman. Billy Kidman's been, what, a couple of years in the WWE? Yeah, but he did. He had a lot of cool storylines. That one I agree with. I like Billy Kidman. and He was big in WCW. He he he, he came into WWE pretty hot. He had I one mean, he good was, run, and that was it. And he still was a major part of the little guys in SmackDown. He did a lot. Doink the Clown, I can understand. Eric oh, Bischoff Doink, now. Oh, See, Eric Bischoff is going to be off of this real soon. Just Doink like, the Clown is horrible. He was the start of all this PG. No, 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 no. He he was good. I mean, the evil clown gimmick, that was great. That was okay, but then it didn't last long. Then now, he was out. You want to talk about PG, Gilbert does not belong in there. Gilbert is horrible. Kamala, I can understand. Jonathan Coachman, I can understand. Hardy, I think, you know. Yeah, yeah Hardy did a lot. Yeah, but, I mean, a, a alumni? I know. Lance Storm kind of gives me. You know, I might be, be I might be getting Gilbert. confused. <laughs> I might be getting confused with alumni versus Hall of Fame. So, I, I, you know, JBL's in there, rightfully so. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, rightfully so. King Kong Bundy, Lance Storm, Lillian Garcia, Lita, Luna Vachon, Miss Elizabeth, no doubt. Miss Jackie, no. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's Molly Holly, eh, yeah. I really don't understand this list. I don't know what's going on with this list. I don't know what it's... I don't... It, it's just... Too many random characters that really don't make sense. Savage, you know, out of all these characters on this page, should be the first one. Oh, easily. Rikishi, yeah. Now, this is what I was talking to you about last time. Now, look, at they have the Ultimate Warrior on here. Now, right. the, the Ultimate Warrior and, and Vince and the company has been, what, going back and forth, suing each other? Yeah. And he's on here. Bret Hart's not on here. And then I'm looking at World World Warrior Animal. Where's Hawk? Yeah. Rob Van Dam, you know, yes. Ron Simmons, yes. Sable, Sid, Slick. Where's Fuji if Slick's in here? (laughs) Sonny Tajiri, Million Dollar Man. Virgil. Rock. If the Rock's in here and he won't even want to do a a guest host spot, he shouldn't be in here. But you know who's missing? One oh. big, huge person that's missing from this alumni page. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yes. He's not on his page. So this this is stupid. This is... I mean, it, I, I was thinking that there's a next page, you know, there's a page somewhere missing. No, it's not. This is it. This is retarded. Yeah, it's a pretty beat-up list. It's as, as retarded, like you said, as retarded as raw. Yep. 